we're proposing some changes to the use of an accredited testing laboratory, or ATL. An ATL is an organisation that has been accredited in Australia by the National Association of Testing Authorities Australia, or NATA, to undertake relevant tests. It can also be an organisation not based in Australia that is accredited by a body recognised by NATA through mutual recognition. The NCC currently specifies a number of circumstances where an ATL must be used to determine whether a material, assembly or product conforms with an outcome required by the NCC. We're proposing three additional instances where ATLs must be used. These are for materials, assemblies and products that present a high risk to building occupants in the event of a fire if there is a non-conformance. This risk makes the use of an ATL appropriate. Also, the NCC is currently inconsistent, sometimes requiring the use of an ATL for products, materials and assemblies that present less risk than others that don't require the use of an ATL. The proposed changes remove this inconsistency. These changes stem from a proposal for change to the NCC we received from an organisation that undertakes testing for the building industry. We refine the proposal in consultation with stakeholders, including our Peak Technical Committee, the Building Codes Committee, or BCC, testing laboratories, and organisations representing fire engineers, building surveyors, and builders. The additional instances proposed for when an ATL must be used include determining fire hazard properties, such as critical radiant flux and group number. This involves changes to S7C4, H3D2 and Schedule 1. Determining combustibility, this involves changes to Schedule 1. Classifying external wall systems using AS5113, this involves changes to C1V3. A transition period for these changes would end on adoption of NCC 2028. So what are the impacts? The proposed changes will increase testing robustness and as a result, improved product conformity assurance and enhance the safety of buildings. There is a cost impact to these proposed changes as there will be additional instances where testing by an ATL is required. The transition period to NCC 2028 will permit time for existing products, assemblies and materials to have tests done by an ATL if the proposed changes are implemented. The proposed changes do not require retesting of existing products and materials that have already been tested and confirmed by an ATL. If you'd like to provide feedback on this proposed change, visit our dedicated PCD page, abcb.gov.au forward slash PCD. Here you'll find links to the draft changes for volumes one, two and three and the housing provisions. You'll also find links to support materials and technical documents to help you understand the proposed changes. Finally, this page has a link to our consultation page where you can have your say. The public consultation is open from 1 May to 1 July 2024. We look forward to your input.